group. Sorry I can't be with you, but try to find me on the campus because it's really important. This is Brisa and this is Jersey. They're awesome and you're gonna have a lot of fun today. So I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna do some tips with you and then just try to explain who I am and why you're so important to me, okay? So um, before you get to the Capitol, I want you guys to get the opportunity with your teachers is to make yourself business cards. It doesn't matter what it looks like, talk to your teacher about what email you wanna put on this, but you should put your name, uh, uh, what are you inspired by, maybe a quote on there, and an email that they can send some to. And when you meet anybody on the Capitol, I mean anybody, it could be a lobbyist, it could be your legislator. Uh, when you go up to introduce yourself to them, hand them your card and ask them for their card in return. Because what can happen is you can build a relationship here where if you want to be a doctor or attorney or a, it doesn't matter what it is, that they're going to be your biggest access to get those things done. And you're going to impress the heck out of them if you hand them a card. Okay. It's even more impressive if you want to put a little bit of your resume on here and what you're up to and what you'd like to do, and they'll be able to help. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> anyway, so um, let me tell you a little bit about myself and why you guys are so important to me. Uh, I was born and raised here in Aurora. Both my folks were cotton pickers from Texas, so my dad had a fifth grade education, and my mom had a twelfth grade education. And they moved here to Illinois um, to get away from the racism. And in Texas, they had different schools, different drinking fountains, different everything. And my folks said that they wanted to raise us somewhere that we were colorblind. And that's pretty profound, because that's the way America is supposed to be, that we're colorblind. So we came here, uh, my dad came here first and uh, brought my mom here back in the 50s, 54. And we were able to start a great life. My dad was a fifth grade educated, got a job with Caterpillar, you know, joined the union. My mom and dad then saved money. And my mom was the very first real estate broker here to Aurora 40 years ago. So I've been in real estate since I've been three. And she instilled in me a lot of great things, um, but there were a lot of weaknesses that we didn't even know. I'm actually fifth generation Mexican American on my dad's side and fourth on my mom. And the very first one to ever go to college. In third grade, I had a learning disability, um, and they didn't know what it was, so I spent most of my time beating up two guys, uh, Dave Wagner <laughs> and Jack, Jack Hill's son, David Hill, who was the mayor. So I used to get a call in third grade from the mayor um, <laughs> saying, leave my kid alone. I said, tell him to stop playing with my hair. I hated it. And I was such a tomboy, so it didn't really matter. So I, I loved beating him up. But the reason why I lashed out to them is because I had a learning disability, okay? And by the time I got into eighth grade, um, I knew what I wanted to be, I thought, I want to be a tax attorney. So that's two master's programs, it's crazy. So I went to go see my counselor and my counselors told me, uh, why, you're, you're stupid and you should just go home and have children. Now that counselor said that to more people than me and a lot of women. And at that time I was very athletic. So we um, focus on the things that, when you have a learning disability that are like physical, so you're either beating somebody up, you're playing a sport and you're excelling, you can't participate in sports if your grades aren't good, right? So uh, there were three teachers, PE teachers, that uh, I went to on guidance, and they ended up giving me this Bible. It's, it's a children's Bible. It's called The Way, which is interesting because my last name, Lavia, my husband's Italian, means The Way. And I just want to read something in here um, to you so I can share with you because I love you guys. And I want this maybe to help you when you get to a point where someone's making you feel bad or less than what you are, um, it, it's important that you have faith somewhere. Whether it's being a, a Buddhist, whether it's being Muslim, it doesn't matter that you do have faith in who you are to take you to the next realm. And it was very important to me, so that's what I want to share. In eighth grade, it was very important. So one of my um, PE teachers wrote, whenever you're confronted with a problem or fear, first be sure of what's written here. Let God do the leading, you follow along, he'll make you happy and give you a new song. Sister in Christ, Julie Keller, Matthew 28, 20. And like I said, it's, it's, it's the importance is faith and, and, and how it plays out in your lives. And um, none of us are perfect. But that's what the really cool thing is, is that you always have an opportunity to do amazing things. So this was in eighth grade. I graduated early. I graduated 16. Uh, and I couldn't get into college to save my life and um, scored a 17 on my ACT, and I was able to get into college through a back door called the Chance Program at Northern, where it gave me the opportunity um, to really uh, 
not know what I was doing. <laughs> so I took jazz, tap, judo, because my parents, I was the first to go to college, they had no idea to say, hey, you need to do this, that, and the other, which are gen eds, okay? If you guys haven't started on your, <laughs> your uh, uh, AP classes, I'm sure you will. Dual credit stuff is very important because before you graduate from high school, at least you'll build your credit. And it doesn't matter what you want to do in life, just find something that you're happy with. Now, you know, where I'm sitting, I've been in the legislature now for 15 years. I'm the chair of energy and veterans affairs. I joined the military because I needed help to pay for my college because I just didn't know how to. And what I didn't realize, it was going to be the, one of the best things that ever happened in my life. Um, and it's not for everybody, but I was telling the girls earlier, it broke me down as a civilian and built me back up as a soldier. And it's one of the areas in this uh, in the United States where men and women are treated equally, uh, is when we wear the uniform of the flag of this country. And it, it, it's gone beyond being patriotic. It's pretty cool. Say hi, Josh. Some of my office people. Right. So uh, fast forward, my very first piece of legislation, remember, failed third grade. I was told I was stupid, half children, go home. My, my first piece of legislation was done with two governors and one president of the United States. So I guess I didn't do too bad after all. <laughs> but the interesting thing is that don't ever give up on yourself. And always be around people that see the genius in you, regardless if you don't even see it in yourself. But you're so important to me because when I get old and gray, I need people like you that are in different professions that are making a great living and having a great life to hold you, people, on your shoulders, okay? because we can only take so much. Anyway, but I love you guys. I hope you have a great day on campus. Besides doing your business cards, do me a favor. Also, anybody you meet and you get a business card from, do a handwritten note to them. You know, it's so easy uh, these days to take your phone out and text people to communicate or to send them an email. It's more impressive today, believe it or not, if you s s just do a card. It was great meeting you. Thank you for your words of advice. Hopefully I can count on you in my future if I need a letter of recommendation. Now that's a trick. Anyway, so I adore you guys. If you get a chance, come up and see me if I'm, I'm on the Capitol. If you need to stop in an office and use a computer, go ahead and use mine. Um, and anything I can do, my email is lindachapelavia at aol.com. My cell phone is 630-715-1345, and it really is my cell phone. So if you call it, and you guys should call it. If I'm on the house floor, you guys are in the gallery, call it and see if I pick up, okay? <laughs> but anything at all that I can encourage you guys um, to go above and beyond, whether you want to be uh, a janitor or you want to be the President of the United States, do it with the best intentions. Always be humble. Never say anything bad about a person. If you have something, you don't have anything good to say about somebody, don't say it at all. And always make sure to know that I believe in you. Okay? So if you need anything at all, Breezy, Jersey, I love your names. Mine's so tanned up. <laughs> Boring. Uh, anything at all, please don't hesitate. I love you.